All right, <laughs> let's get started. Welcome to the channel, <laughs> by the way. I guess I should say that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, boom. Ooh, got my first crossbow. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Almost died there. Oh, is that the bad omen effect? Oh, no. Okay, I just can't get around a village. I've never got the bad omen effect before. <laughs> well, welcome anyways. So now that we've been formally introduced, <laughs> um, welcome. This is, my name's Freakmare. I'm going to be starting a Let's Play series, getting back into Minecraft. I previously went by names of VLSI, that guy VLSI, uh, cluster fun stuff. Um, but this is me getting back into Let's Play of Minecraft on vanilla. Um, I've been, you know, I haven't played in several years, but I've been keeping up with, with game updates and stuff like that from watching people like Etho and so on and so forth. And it just looked, it looks like there's been a lot that has came into the game over the last years. Um, and I want to get back into it. So this is a Let's Play. Um, my This game is not going to be a daily upload series or anything like that but it will be me going around showing you what i can do i'm an engineer and so i think i you know there's a bunch of smart people obviously when it comes to minecraft but i kind of want to make um big builds i'm very inspired by uh hermitcraft guys and making these big builds during the season and i want to come in and do that sort of thing where it's not going to be a bunch of it's it, there'll be small projects obviously um but it's going to be, hey, let's see what we can build. Let's see how how massive we can make this sort of thing. Not necessarily just in structure, but how can we integrate any, everything? Being a, an engineer, I'm really um, I'm really interested in the in the in the fact of automating things. Right, uh, that that's just what I've started with here. Basically, nothing fancy, nothing like the most most best. The you know the the most uh, um, efficient probably of of, of farms, but you know, it's something I want to start with and I want to kind of get it all integrated. I want to have a base that eventually has a bunch of little farms like this put together that all f that all automatically feed in and, and just automate itself. Like for instance, like this, this right here should, um, now that the chickens are, you know, there's a maximum amount of chickens in there. So they're, they're dying. Uh, what I, what I should end up doing is, is feeding that into a smeltering system and super smelter system and then it automatically goes into my uh chests and into my inventory or into my storage system that i eventually have and and it's just kind of all automated that's that's where i want to get that's what i want this series to be about is let's see how cool of things we can do in minecraft um especially like with dirt houses and stuff like that i just i want to make the best dirt house possible <laughs> but anyways <laughs> let's get on Okay, so let's take you through a quick tour of the base, what I kind of have set up so far. So I got a cactus farm going here. It's not actually a cactus farm. It's more of a bone mill farm. Um, I wanted a way for me to create bone mill uh, just to have it instead of going and getting skeletons. I mean, it's not the most efficient. It's probably produce a stack worth in time it's nothing fantastic i plan on getting this farm integrated with it too this is all manual just so i could get the enchanting stuff going but this will eventually be automated to i'm gonna i'm gonna build up this cactus farm to be much bigger bigger of a cactus farm and then on the edges of the cactus farm make a sugarcane farm that also feeds down into it so so that i can get either sugarcane get bone meal and i think i'm just gonna all bone meal it for now until we find bamboo. I heard bamboo is pretty powerful, so let's see what we can do till then. This is just to feed the cows and stuff. Uh, I plan on in this episode automating this to be uh, not this part, but the uh, pumpkin and melon farm. And if we go in here, I do have enchantments going. Nothing fantastic. I just have two pickaxes, one with fortune two, but two efficiency four. I'm breaking three. Haven't really gotten any diamond armor anywhere yet. This is just a chicken farm that feeds down keeps the raw chicken the eggs filter through there's this little bit of redstone system down here that when all said and done it it detects it it brings it down here once it gets down here it puts it into a water stream once it detects that there's an item it throws it into the water stream and comes back out 
And once it detects that there's an egg that came through the system, it obviously dispenses it out there. So there's the water stream. There we go. Nothing fantastic. Got a little horse. Did some exploring. Have been to a village and stuff. This bad omen effect too. I've never... This is a new mechanic to the game, so I have no clue what this banner does. Um, if I should put it up. Oh. Um, where's the hitbox? Oh, there it is. <laughs> the, the, bo the bottom part isn't a hitbox, okay. So I don't even know what to do with this banner. If it's worthwhile, got to do some research. There's a lot of things I have to research. Composters are new uh, to the game compared to when I last played. So a lot to do. Got to know what this bad omen effect. I know I can't go to a village. I know if I go to a village, I can start a raid or something along those lines. So you got to be careful there. So let's hopefully you guys start enjoying this series and stick around. And we will hopefully provide a good, hopefully somewhat educational, uh, good Let's Play series. So for you, those of you that don't know how this works, what we're going to do is we're going to put a, um, for instance, uh, let's, let's do melons, right? Let's actually do pumpkins because I, I would rather do like jack-o'-lanterns. You can put a, a stem right here. And then when you do the stem, you can place an observer on that stem so that it gives out a pulse, a pulse on it. And then you can put two pistons beside it so that because the, uh, the melon could form on each side, right? Could go on each side. So then what you want to do is you want to then have it power some sort of block when it when it gets done, right? And then after it does that, you can then add redstone here and here. And that's it. So when a block update happens right there, so just to give you an example, let's show you a block update. I might get hit. <laughs> See? Once so once the once the melon grows, that will happen. The whenever a melon grows, the stem block updates and so we get a pulse so let's oh, <laughs> let's get this so that the stem is fully grown okay stem is fully grown so now whenever a melon or a pumpkin no that's a melon i, I end up planting a melon back down see i gotta fix that uh I end up planting a melon down there then we will get a pulse so i'm doing that there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out this composter then and put the chest right below the comp uh right below so that we can capture the goods instead of instead of having it turn into bone meal because i want to be able to keep the melons and the pumpkins so let's go get another pumpkin seed and we will duplicate that setup so now one nice thing about this though is that we can use the this piston also to grow our other seed so if we look here do the same thing here we can then put the pumpkin seed here fully grow the pumpkin seed and then we can put another piston here so we don't need to reuse two pistons and then we just have one piston there uh, let's use the same block so wood block to update the redstone and then just add a redstone there so now so now if this one grows or this one grows and it's in this middle one here, then this piston will extend when either one of these happen and you'll get you'll get it in there. Now the only question I have is this gonna <laughs> am I gonna constantly be hitting the cactus every time I do this? And how long does this dang bad omen effect last? I need to research on this bad omen effect. The the omens are the, the pillager pillagers, right? Pillagers? I whatever they are. Um is a new component to the game since I last played. So I need to read up on that and figure out how, how to get rid of that bad omen effect. So that will be the interesting thing here is, is does that happen? So I'm going to sit here and watch it. So that's good to know. I, I was wondering what was going to happen there, if it was going to launch it off or not. And we saw there it was pretty basic one thing I, uh, that it didn't launch like drastically over here. It literally like went off and barely went off. So one thing I was sitting here noticing is I was like, these aren't growing. And then I realized, oh man, they're not moisturized. So I was like, I got to add a water block. <laughs> and so now we got this thing actually up and running um as expected and as but this is what i'll eventually have right is once i once i make this cactus farm bigger i plan to make this by like an eight by eight 
So make it really big, 64 cacti, and make it three, four levels up. What I plan on eventually doing is all those three, four levels up are down. I might, I think I might go down with a farm. We'll see. Um, but I also plan on putting on the edges a farm like this. So have one of like melons on one side, one of pumpkins on the other side, one of, and then maybe two of bamboo. Cause I plan on also doing bamboo farms once we get it. Yeah. see. Those are all missing. Um, so that I can then, then I'll, th this will be like a filtering system. It'll go down and it'll filter through and, and, and filter out the items into their own separate chest. But then I'll also have an override button. I'll have like a little, my, my thought is I'll have like a little control panel where I can say, okay, every one of them will be different where I can flip, flip a lever or whatever it may be and say, okay, now I want melons, only melons to go to the composter, or I want all of them to go to the composter. Um, and kind of make some logic like that. So there's like a big control board to control my farms of saying, I want to collect items versus I want to go to compost. And that's how I'm going to do it. So this is up and running. I'm going to duplicate this uh, a little bit. I had to go get some nether quartz because I accidentally made them into quartz blocks, forgetting that they weren't like material quartz and just making them, you know, it was this, which you can't undo that. I thought it was, you know, like you do with coal and stuff. And I totally forgot that now I have quartz blocks that I can't do anything with. Um, almost died because I must be in like, I don't know, ga like a gas field is something new, but I am where I'm spawning in the nether. There are tons and tons of gas. I don't know if they increase the number of gas or if it's like a biome or an area of the nether where it's like a gas farm or something, but man, there's a lot of gas in there. Uh, so we are going to do what we can to expand on this farm once we get more seeds. So we are up and running with melons and melons and pumpkins for four melons, four pumpkins uh, onto our cactus farm. Got to build up this cactus farm a little bit higher, but we, here's like the overall general production of the cactus farm. That's nothing. I mean, like I said, it's nothing fancy, nothing fantastic. 22 cactus so far. So, I mean, it works. It works for what we need for what we have right now. Um, Sugar cane don't really need the chicken is going. I just come over here and grab this every once in a while um, because really I'm looking for XP right now when it comes to the chickens. I want to cook the chickens and get the XP uh, just because I'm not doing much of mining. I got to start actually building out like a mine, a proper mine and stuff. I have an area where I've been branch mining a little bit because I found a, uh, I end up finding a spider, a cave spider spawner. Um, in a mine shaft, so I gotta build an XP farm out for that, and that's planning. What I think, what I plan on doing for the next episode, we'll see. But the just brewing, brewing up. <laughs> I'm brewing up the the cows, but just raising up the cows because I need books, and that's the only reason. So let's let's get on to the next task. So we're headed off to go get some bamboo, and I'm going to do that by. Uh, positive 350, which is where I'm at. And then I'm going to go to negative 50. Okay. So I'm going to ride my horse over to an ocean. And then I'm going to take boats and go that route. Because between between me and a jungle, woo, between me and a jungle biome, there is a lot of um, tree areas of like oak trees and just forests where the horse will have a hard time getting through stuff like that. So I'm just going to take a boat there. It shouldn't be too bad. And we shall update you. <laughs> Whoa, because <laughs> I want to get a bamboo farm going. Um, but instead of using coal for everything, use bamboo. Um, that's what I've heard that is good for. So we are going to do that. Oh, oh, beehive. I think you want to take beehives, right? Don't tell me. Really? You have to have a special a certain tool for that. Oh, okay. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go, idiot. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap up this episode for today. We got our bamboo. We got some jungle uh, seeds. Not jungle seeds. Jungle uh, saplings. Oh, I'm not. It's oak saplings. Oh, they were oak saplings. I thought they were jungle. So I have one jungle sapling. Hopefully, this isn't a tree where I need four to plant it. I didn't realize I was breaking oak trees. Hopefully, I got, hopefully I got a jungle and you only need one. If we need four, we'll go back, but that's going to wrap it up. We're going to automate some bamboo this next 
this next episode get a little mini smelter going that feeds directly from the bamboo plant um, so that over time it will back up on resources and it will just directly feed it and we don't have to use coal anymore and we are going to get a super smelter basic whoa it's a nice little form of land there so i think i found uh I've, I've been seeing these ships those are kind of interesting to me that's a new new thing that i've never experienced before and i also think i passed a guardian uh base or whatever as i was going i started getting hearing some weird noises that i think were whoa where, where, how does that all come up do those just naturally grow and then when they get to a certain height they break off that's kind of interesting anyways um hope you guys enjoyed if you liked it go ahead and subscribe and like it up uh otherwise see you next time